Hello, this is a test. I'm trying to find out what would be the best option to use a microphone for a video. Because the last video I did, which was my introduction video, I had some issues with audio. Basically because um, probably the audio uh, level, the recording level was not right. I was using the um, a Tascam DR7 recorder, or is it the DR5? It's the DR7 MK2, it's a field recorder, and because I had to amplify that sound, it also picked up a lot of no other noises from the, from the studio. Let's just sum up now what I'm doing. I have now a setup of three microphones. One is the microphone that is built in in the camera, and then another one is a, a large frame, a large diaphragm. Anyway, it's a biodynamic. Uh, maybe you can see it if I show it. Yeah, something like this. And the third one is the task count that I just showed you. So, let's start. Right now, you're hearing the sound what is recorded through the uh, Canon uh, camera uh, which has a built-in microphone. It's a mono sound but it doesn't matter for speech uh, but it's quite okay. Um, but it picks up a lot of noise and it has this kind of um, auto level uh, that is probably also quite annoying because it int introduces a lot of noise when I'm not speaking. Um, so it's a bit of a compressed sound you get. And now we switch over to the biodynamic and this is what it sounds like right now. It's a, it's a little bit closer to me than the microphone in the camera because the camera is a bit further away than the microphone. So uh, hopefully we'll get a more direct sound and probably also um, more uh, fidelity. The sound is recorded directly in the computer and uh, the file that is producing now it's will be laid s synchronized to the video track uh, so we'll get a synchronized sound and I can, I can choose between biodynamic sound or the Tascam or the internal microphone. Now we switch over to the Tascam field recorder a microphone and it sounds like this. Uh, the microphone is placed a little bit further away than the large frame that I have uh, microphone because um, there's no other place to put it. I could put it a little closer like this and it will be in frame as well so that's probably not a good idea but um, and also you probably it will probably pick up some sounds from my hand holding the microphone. Not probably a good idea but I'll put it back so Hopefully it will still pick up a quite direct sound, uh, but we'll see in the end result how it sound, sounds like. Right now I have no idea because I'm talking to you and I'm not getting back the sound that it is recording as yet. So let's end this up and I will come, maybe come back with uh, what I think is the best result. So I thought that was quite interesting. Um, I th expected that the large frame uh, microphone would be better, but I didn't expect it would be that good. Um, so the end result is that, uh, in my opinion, the uh, biodynamic microphone wins. Um, the Tascam, yeah, it's not bad really, um, but it's probably better to use it in the field. And now, once I'm in the comfort of my studio, I can use this large frame, diaphragm, diaphragm, still don't know how to pronounce it, microphone instead. Uh, one thing though is that uh, it's probably will always be in, in frame because it's quite large. Uh, I might be able to position it a bit lower. Um, in the test recording I had the level a bit too high so there was some distortion. I hope I fixed it by now and the sound will be better. Uh, so 
final result, um, the biodynamic winds, and that's going to be the microphone that I will be using for the next vlog or any other video that will be happening in my studio and where I'll be talking to you. Thank you, see you next time, bye.